On 21st May, 35-year-old Shanta Kumar was washed away in a stormwater drain in Bengaluru's Kurubarahali area. It's been 48 hours since Shanta Kumar went missing. 45 firefighters, 13 JCBs, along with 300 BBMP workers have been unable to locate this man who risked his life to fix Bengaluru's stormwater drains. Search operations are still underway. Now, Shrija joins us live from uh, Bengaluru at the moment. Shrija, I understand that Bengaluru's mayor has just inspected the spot. What are the updates? What is the mayor saying? That's right, Kavita. It's been more than 48 hours and Shanta Kumar's body has still been, remained untraceable. At this point in time, we can understand that there are fire personnel. More than 250 members have been deployed at the spot, very spot, including uh, fire engineers, BBMP officials, uh, NDRF and SDRF. However, we understand this has entered close to uh, the third day. However, no, uh, uh, there has been no trace of Shanta Kumar at all. We clearly understand from the officials that uh, they have completed at least 40 kilometer along the stormwater drain but in vain we are also speaking to the mayor who just arrived at the spot what we hear from uh, the mayor is that uh, once um, once the entire inspection as well as once the once Shantakumar body is fished out only then they will be able to talk about the compensation so uh, also Shrija we understand that the family is supposed to be reaching Bangalore today you've been speaking with them what are they saying? Right, Kavita, I've been speaking to the family members of Shantakumar. However, we understand that uh, uh, right now uh, his nephew has already arrived. He's speaking to the fire brigade officials, but uh, his wife and his nine months old son is yet to reach Bengaluru. What they're telling us is that they just want to see Shantakumar's face at least one last time. But going by the search operations right here at uh, Parasanapalia, where officials have almost covered 40 kilometers uh, in the stormwater drain, still Shantakumar's body remains untraceable. Right, Shrija, stay with us. Now, Mirror now also spoke to BBMP Com Commissioner Manjunath Prasad earlier and the Chief Engineer of the Stormwater Drain on Monday. Let's listen into what they had to say. See, actually, if you look at uh, the background of the incident, uh, I mean, uh, we have taken up construction of stormwater drains uh, for about 230 kilometers length. Uh, all those which were kachar drains, now we have uh, concrete walls on both the ends and we have a concrete bed and we are putting up the fence. Uh, yesterday what happened, one of the agencies who have been interested in this work, they were doing their work. Uh, and uh, after the work is over, all of them came out. Uh, one person, since it started raining, he was inside the Hitachi. And after some time, we found that the water levels are increasing. Since we have cleared, uh, I mean, a lot of silt, uh, the uh, pressure was very high and uh, he couldn't uh, come out of the drain and he was uh, washed away. So in immediately we have deployed uh, the fire brigades and the, uh, the some civil defense team and we have this uh, rescue teams are also operating. More than 50 people are working there. Yesterday we started uh, rescue operation from a spot to Bengaluru city around 12 kilometers. Uh, then uh, to, today morning we are continued from uh, Bengaluru city Mysore Road Junction. Uh, then we uh, were uh, uh, take around 30 kilometers from uh, university to Bairmangla Lake. We were deployed around 300 men and uh, 20 equipments, uh, JCB and Itachi, and also the NDR of around 25 members and uh, Fire Force 45 members, then uh, SDR of uh, around 6 members, totally around 80 members, uh, including these force, our men totally 380 members, they are uh, uh, searching the body. Let's get you a sense of who is Shanta Kumar, the man who stepped into swirling waters of the stormwater drain to repair it even during a rainstorm. He is the sole breadwinner of his family. He hails from a village near Mandya in Karnataka. His wife and infant son still await news of him. Shrija is still uh, with us. Uh, Shrija, uh, tell us this. Why was Shanta Kumar uh, trying to repair that stormwater drain when there was a rainstorm?
Well, uh, Kavita, this is the question that everybody has raised, has been raising, including the urban uh, uh, activists here in the city. We must clearly understand that Bengaluru last year in 2016 experienced flash floods in the month of August. And just right two months later, that is in the month of October, uh, the BBMP had sanctioned a project and earmarked 800 crore rupees just to remodel and diesel the stormwater drains across the city. But however, talking to the uh, chief engineer of stormwater drains, what he told us was the delay was uh, the reason behind the delay was uh, calling for the tenders and it took them nearly six months but however that has been no that will be no excuse to the number of deaths that has been caused due to the stormwater drain also speaking to some of the urban uh, experts what we understand at this point in time is that the BBMP officials should have ideally started the remodeling and desilting work during summer but uh, we understand when we were also at the spot uh, inspecting along with uh, the Bengaluru Development Minister Mr. K.J. George and uh, the Mayor uh, G. Padmavati, we saw they started inspecting only five or four days ago, just before the pre-monsoon showers, and Shantakumar was entrusted with the work uh, to, in fact, uh, diesel this particular stormwater drain at Kurubarahalli. Unfortunately, he was washed away by the drain. Right, Shreeja, thank you for those updates.